Okay, I'm in Panet Park in Whitby and this is uh, a gorgeous wood sculpture. I think it's probably a dead tree uh, and it's a girl with the moon. And I'm going to stand up, uh, I'm going to try and get up on a bench and take you a bit closer because she's with an owl and a bird as well and this is absolutely wonderful a uh, wonderful carving and I'm gonna take a couple of pictures uh, videos of stuff in Panet Park um, which is just a wonderful place next to Dylan's where I'm actually staying and that is the sun side of the picture. Now I'm going to turn round and there's this w one which is a head almost green man type thing and you know sort of it's the hair as leaves and you know that's another wonderful carving. I'm not sure who's done these, but I do intend to find out. And, you know, sort of, it's just an amazing expression. Uh, now, as you can see, we're just in the trees, and um, Panet Park is just a wonderful, wonderful, relaxing place. And as I say, this sun and the girl with the sun and the moon is just like a beautiful beautiful carving um, so anyway that's this part we may have more uh, you know because I do want to produce a YouTube video okay well this is uh, I don't know if this is going to be the best day here but this is a water features stroke Roman temple and as you can see there are squirrels here as well coming through <laughs> unbelievable but anyway we shall go back to the Roman temple here and um, take some information it's uh, Lily Pool Rock Garden in memory of T Captain Thomas Kirby and um, they were donated and planted, yeah, Thomas Kirby and lots more. And I thought I would just share this uh, beautiful building in Whitby with you. Okay, I'm just trying to share these squirrels are incredibly friendly. <laughs> so, um, as you can see, right at my feet, <laughs> you know, there are loads of squirrels in Panet Park today. And I thought I'd just share some with you. Uh, this one is particularly not bothered about me. Um, you know, just to show you what I'm up to today. So, hope everybody's having a great day. And hope the weekend's going to, you know, it's like, uh, turn out really well for you. <laughs> they, these are just, you know, there's loads of them. Um just absolutely amazing. This will come out okay. These are some amazing sculptors, well, wood sculptors in Panet Park and Maybe a tree's come down or something like this, but uh, I will try and show it to you as best I can. And we have the moon on this side and obviously the sun on the other side. Um, and behind this there is the face that was, you know, so it's been there for a while. Uh, and this is quite amazing too. 
sorry about the shadows um, but it's an amazing carving so I thought I would show, share that with you the Palette Park, uh, Palette Art Gallery, Whitby Museum, but just at the moment there's this uh, stone circle with rune stones that I'm in. I don't know the meaning of these stones or anything like that, but it feels, you know, magical. Just uh, I forgot to come last time I was at Whitby, but I wanted to actually share these stones with you, and you know, like just take you around. Um, we look up, you can see the abbey through the trees, and you know, and I'll actually go down. I'll make this part of this video. Um, these, uh, what, how, how, what can I, you know, wooden uh, sculptor, I, I assume, that sort of vaguely represent the whale bones, I would say, um, and with the, with the coloured glass, and, you know, if you look here, you can see the abbey between the two whale bones. Uh, I don't know if that means anything or if it's deliberate. Uh, but it's a wonderful place. And then we have this star design on the floor of here. Um, and essentially, we have a we will remember them. So maybe this is a war memorial. Uh, I, yes, I, I can't be sure of this, um, but it's just a wonderful, wonderful place to be. Uh, this is going to have to be a YouTube video because we're on two minutes of this and now I've got, uh, I am going to splice it with uh, the sculpture video as well. And, but as I say, Panop Park is... A wonderfully peaceful relaxing place to be and I'm glad that I can actually share this with you and there's probably a lot more things that I want to share I just love the trees about you know here and as I say we come back to this magical rune symbol circle uh, and we will finish this one here okay this is the uh, Jurassic Garden in Panet Park and basically there's the stones in a pathway and then we have this <laughs> dinosaur here uh, I think this is only going to be a short part of the video but again if you come to Whitby, Panet Park is somewhere and uh, we have fossils embedded into the path. I hadn't actually noticed that. Uh, so, 
and there are people coming up behind me so you can see all, all the fossils in here and I don't know if the uh, plant life is Jurassic uh, but this is the end of the Jurassic Garden and there is a huge uh, rock there um, but that's, that's the Jurassic Garden and I'm going to pause now because there's a clock Right, this is a, another video, this is the clock in Panop Park and hopefully the last video actually got saved. Um, the problem with this clock as you can see, yeah it's really nice but we're at ground level and you probably need to actually see, you can see it says Whitby, uh, Panop Park Whitby <laughs> that the plants spell out. Um, so this is just a, a little thing on there. Okay. This might be fairly boring because it's the Whitby timeline. I don't know if, it, if this will come up, but we get 185 million years ago, monkey puzzle trees grow up in the forests. Uh, 664, Synod of Whitby held in Whitby Abbey. Uh, 867, Whitby Abbey destroyed by the Danes. Uh, 1078 Whitby Abbey um, founded by uh, Benedictine monks. 1355 first records of Whitby Bridge. Uh, 1445 Whitby granted a charter for holding a market. Uh, 1539 Whitby Abbey closed by Henry VIII. Uh, 1768, Captain Cook's first voyage uh, on the uh, Endeavour. Uh, 1769, the Resolution uh, built in Whitby. Uh, 1835, Whitby Lighthouse built. 1836, Whitby to Pickering Horse-Drawn Railway opened. Horse-Drawn Railway! Uh, 1847, first steam trains come to Whitby. 1854, Whitby Gazette first published. 1861, Queen Victoria buys Whitby Jet Jewelry. 1865, Botham's Bakers opened uh, selling cakes to visitors. Botham's are still here. 1897, Bram Stoker wrote Dracula, set in Whitby. 1908, Whitby Swing Bridge opened. 1914, Whitby Abbey bombarded by German warships. 1928, uh, Panop Park opened. So this park's nearly 100 years old. 1940, German aircraft uh, shot down near Whitby. 1953, first floral clock installed in Panop Park. Uh, 1962, Filingdale's early warning station opened. Uh, 1979, Whitby Upper Marina opened. 1997, HMS Bark Endeavour returns to Whitby. Uh, 2005, Friends of Panop Park formed. 2006, second floral clock installed in Panop Park. 2010, uh, sorry, the uh, restoration of Panop Park. And 2012, floral clock redesigned for Diamond Jubilee. Okay, hope that wasn't too boring. Okay, we've got some, this is just, uh, you know, just another part of the park. Uh, there's some wooden <laughs> whalebone things. Then we've got these steps and we're behind people's houses here. But, you know, it's like, this is just like a really, really nice uh, garden area. And these steps just go up there to a bit more park. And then there's some steps here. Uh, going down to the back of people's houses 
uh, which uh, I was down here before um, and you can do go down to the main street there and oh, we have a lovely entrance into Panet Park uh, which is the home of the Panet Park Gal Gallery which annoyingly only opens on 8th of February uh, which is Tuesday and I'm just gonna go to the I think it's a tropical park or something like that um, but this is all going to be part of um, my you know sort of Panet Park <laughs> walk around Panet Park uh, and you know lots of steps and this is the thing about Whitby it's not good if you need um, to be you know sort of on level ground you know <laughs> so you've got to be able to walk uh, and we have another wood carving here uh, and I think this is probably uh, Pacific stroke Maori uh, you know so symbols and this is Little Park uh, but it's part of Panam Park and we have some very sturdy wooden be benches here and uh, some kind of thing there, you know and again steps down and again this is saying goodbye to Panet Park um, and hope this is uh, you know so this has been a nice uh, journey for you okay